today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Yeah. It's Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Hello, welcome. If you're new, welcome for the first time. And if you're not new, welcome back. So we hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving last week. We did not put up a video because we were in fact having Thanksgiving. Eating good. <laughs> and traveling and all the things. So we're back and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Yeah. It's a little more relaxed, yeah. off the cuff. Yeah, because you might have said she's taking the lead and Yes, I just had this idea, I was praying, I was like, well, what should we talk about? We have all these topics and stuff, but it was going to be very impromptu. So today, I'm just going to ask my husband some questions. Some questions that I would like for him to answer on camera. Okay. Now, there's one that I want to ask about the holidays, and then we'll just go from there. But are you ready? He doesn't know any of these questions. I don't know, just, not a one. Literally, just came to me and was like, hey, babe. I'd like to I ask think the Lord questions. wants me to ask you questions. So yeah, I think so. So... My first question is gonna be this. Okay, so just in regards to the holidays. Mm -hmm. So, as you guys know, we're in the holiday season. We just passed Thanksgiving, Christmas is coming up and things like that. A lot of fun family time, friend time and stuff like that. So, I guess my question to you is how do, cause we just had a, the great Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. but I'm thinking like, how do we make these moments more intentional? Oh, like, how do we make these moments more? Cause if we were sitting there watching football, it was cool, mm -hmm. you know, and there was conversation going on, but I'm always in those moments like, how do we, really get like a ooh that was so good time out of a moment mm -hmm. when you're gathering with friends or family around the holidays because we're going to eat probably going to be a game one but how do you actually connect that's good so what would you say in terms of how would you answer that especially from the, i'm asking from this perspective of like the perspective of we're hosting it or something mm -hmm. and also the perspective of you're entering someone else's space so i think it's different okay so as far as i start with entering someone's space because that's what we did so um, I think um, when you're going to someone's event or you know space and there's something going on, I think you naturally just have to bring your gifts of who you are. Mm -hmm. um, so I know us, me and you as believers, um, God has gifted us in many ways to be able to get around people and just be able to connect. Mm -hmm. You know, our authentic selves and be able to be vulnerable and be able to just, you know, showcase our personalities. Mm -hmm. So I think, I know we, I can speak for us, being able to go into that space, being comfortable knowing who you are and just being able to be you. So if you, for example, let's go into the space for Thanksgiving, um, just like, hey, you know, we see everybody watching football, we see everybody just hanging around, talking and chilling, mm -hmm. but even having a moment uh, to kind of just stop and be able to say, hey, you know, let's all come together and be intentional in this moment and talk about, you know, what God has done for us what this year. What does that look like, I'm saying? Um, like, if you paint the picture, so we're sitting there watching football, for example. Okay. What does that look like? Um, so, I mean, I can speak for me, I guess. So, for me and my family, mm -hmm. uh, being a male and being a man in my family, just me basically telling all my family members, hey, let's all come together in the living room, or for instance, we was all in the backyard, let's all come together in the backyard and let's circle up, you know, and let's just have a moment to where we put our phones away, you know, and turn the TV off for a moment and just like, oh, just focus on each other, you know, and one by one, you know, just speak about like, hey, what God is doing, what he's done in your life. I mean, cause even if some people, you know, might be not, might be far off from God, there's something in their life that they can be like, man, like this year has been, you know, this way and I just really seen things happen this way in my life and just being able to share that. So mm -hmm. then that makes everybody feel more comfortable to want to open up, mm -hmm. you know, and at least want to share. And then I just started off. I would be the one to start it off and then it would go to you mm -hmm. and then they just give people more opportunities to be comfortable to do that. Now, if we were hosting, um, yeah, we kind of talked about this, so it's funny that you asked. Well, I'm asking because I think it's good to share. Yeah, so if we were hosting, which we plan on doing, um, for sure, since we're so caught up in the social media and phone era, mm -hmm. I would, you know, have everybody come in and I would say to my mama this, you know, and put your phone in the bucket. You know, you come in the house for that day and yeah, we're hosting. Cool. Yeah, everybody phones in the bucket and yeah. only one to have a phone is me and you. And we wouldn't be on our phones, but we have phones just for emergency. 
you know, just in case somebody needs to reach out to somebody for emergency reasons. But we would still not be on our phones. But we would not be on our phones. It'll just be, be somewhere. Out in case we Yeah, some right. To and if somebody needs to get to the house or something went on. But as you walk in the door, put your phone in the bucket, no phones. Okay. All right. We You can watch football. They had a TV on and stuff like that. Cool. But we would have stations and areas and games and just intentional moments throughout the day or throughout the night or whatever so where we can commune together continuously. Mm -hmm. You know, where it might be games, a group of games together, a moment like we said, where we all share our thankfulness before we eat, mm -hmm. um, moments to, you know, do stuff with the kids, mm -hmm. but just moments to really pour into each other, moments to hear from the elderly, get them an opportunity to speak, you know, to pour into the younger generation, a moment for the younger generation to speak, you know, to the older, you know, group, but just moments to really be intentional with each other throughout coming together and communing, you know, outside of just, hey, we on our phones the whole time, we're watching football the whole time, now it's time to eat, now we gonna thank, give thanks to God, you know, and then continue to just go on about what we doing. That's but, good, no, I like that, that's really yeah. good. That's good, yeah, he talked about that, some of that team, but I wanted to bring that up because I thought it was good for us to discuss right now so we can hold ourselves accountable yeah, but also to encourage all of us to be more intentional on the holidays because we're gonna get together it's mm -hmm. the holidays you know but what do we do with that time yeah it's so important but and, um and even yeah. outside of holidays i think like mm -hmm. you know when you have moments and i know this is an area for me where i'm continuously growing in so i'm glad you asked these questions mm -hmm. because even outside of just holidays you know when you come together with friends when you come together you know for special occasions mm -hmm. you know just how do you make those moments memorable? Mm -hmm. You know, outside of, hey, we're just trying to take a picture of it, you know, a video of it, but actually being in the moment to make the moment intentional. Perfect example, after Thanksgiving, we got to hang out with some friends mm -hmm. and we all just sat around together, ate, so played games and just talked, mm -hmm. you know, talked about where we're at in life and what God's doing and growing and where we're trying to get to, you know, direction wise. So. Mm -hmm. You know, we always can take those things and do them outside of just a holiday. Yeah, I know? agree. I agree. That's good. Okay. Question number two. Let me get close because I can't really see if I'm in focus. Question number two. Mm -hmm. um, what do you feel like is your biggest struggle right now or, or struggle you've had for the longest? That's not biggest. What do you feel like is one struggle you've ha you have right now that you've had for the longest and what, what do you feel like is holding you back? from breaking free from it? Mm, that's a good question. So, I mean, you know me, I'm always open book. <laughs> One of my, I think, biggest struggles right now has been, believe it or not, you know, I'm a firm follower of Jesus Christ. Um, when you say believe it or not. I, 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 well, you're right. Not Who wouldn't believe it? I mean, you know some people is. might not know, but yeah, I, I wholeheartedly love the Lord. But a lot of times I struggle with understanding God's true love for me like the deepness, the depths of how much he loves me. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times I find myself trying to work for that love, mm -hmm. you know, and that's been a stronghold, I think, for a majority of my adult life. Um, that's something that I've really just struggled with and just co constantly and continuously trying to grow through it, mm -hmm. you know, by spending time with God and um, really just releasing certain things that I've, I think, held on to mm -hmm. that's probably been traumas in my life mm -hmm. that has made me think, you know, it shaped me to think like, hey, you know, you have to earn this, you have to work for this, you know, and that's where the reward comes. Or it, it causes me a lot of times to miss the moment and the goodness of how good God really is and how much he really does love me because it could be a moment where he's just showing me like, hey, son, I love you, like, I'm proud of you, like, you're doing all these wonderful things, but then I'm jumping to the next moment, you the know? You yeah, I'm jumping to the next thing. It's like, all right, you know, well, God, how do I receive, you know, the entire love that you have for me, you know, without thinking I have to work for mm -hmm. the love? So what does that look like practically for you, like in the in the day, like just going through like a random day like today? Like, how do you feel like, give me an actual real life example of how that shows? Cause I think that's a really good, not good, but mm -hmm. it's good to be able to verbalize it that way. But like, what does that look like? Like, how, does, how do you know that's something you struggle with? Um, I think for me, um, I, a lot of times I'm just overcritical. I'm in my head a lot of times about things. So I'm a lot of times overthinking, overanalyzing, and just a lot of super critical. 
uh, which then caused me to be complacent, which then caused me to kind of be lackluster uh, with just making decisions or doing things. A uh, prime example could be, I can wake up in the morning, uh, I can pray, spend time with, work, time with God, and you know, try to have the word with me throughout the day. But as I'm going throughout my day, um, I could just have different thoughts of things that start to pile on top of each other of uh, stuff I gotta do. So it could be a thought of like, hey, you know, you any money or hosting the game night at the end of the week. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. on top of y'all gotta get groceries, on top of y'all gotta do this for church, on top of you got this to do for work, on top of, you know, y'all got y'all weekly meeting. Mm -hmm. So now all those different things are just piling on top of each other and now I'm starting to overthink these things for myself and like, hey, so many things I gotta do, so many things I gotta do. Mm -hmm. But I just read in the word with God telling me, hey, don't be anxious about anything. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. cash your cares onto me. Worry about today. today. Tomorrow worries about tomorrow worry about itself. Mm -hmm. But the whole time I'm thinking about all these different things I gotta do. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, it's good to plan a game plan ahead. Mm -hmm. You know, but Understanding that hey, God is the lead of my life and everything that I'm doing in every situation That's something that's always a struggle for me because mm -hmm. then now I'm like putting myself in situation And those are just small things, mm -hmm. you know bigger scale things can be like hey, you know We're trying to financially create and generate different streams of income mm -hmm. as the head of the household as the man I'm trying to figure out how to do that, you know outside of the Lord, <laughs> you know and that's one of the bigger examples, but. And what is what is the one thing you feel like is holding you back from breaking free from that what you just described? Um, tr truly surrendering. Oh, no problem. Truly surrendering um, to God. Mm -hmm. um, not me being in control, but allowing God to be in control of my life entirely. And um, and what that looks like is, you know, me consecrating myself to. What's that mean? What God wants to do. What's consecrating yourself mean? Oh no. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> okay, well, say, the top of my head, say the words that you. Um, well, say. What, say what's consecrate mean? Like, I think consecrate means set apart. No, that's holy. Yeah, I can't think consecrate of what Consecrate is something like you set apart to be clean or something. Mm. But I don't know. Well, you have to use big churchy words. I'm trying to get you to break it down as simple so you even understand your own self. What was the question? What's the biggest thing that's holding you back? You said surrendering oh, yeah. your life to God. So what does that look? So you felt like you haven't surrendered your life to God? I, so I've surrendered my life to God, yes. Mm -hmm. But day to day, choosing every day and every moment, because every day I think I'm walking and you know doing what God wants me to do. But in every moment, so like when those thoughts come where I'm having to like all the groceries become yeah right, become overwhelmed with like all these different things I got to do, you know. But in the moment, understanding like hey. God is in control of all these things that I got to do. It's mm -hmm. not really nothing out of his control. So, mm -hmm. hey, let me go to the Father. You know, let me pray to him. Let me go to his feet. Let me go to his word and have peace about it. You know, and even be able to come to my wife about it. Like, hey, babe, we got all these different things to do. How do we game plan it? Because a lot of times you're able to help me, you know, see that I'm overthinking something. Mm -hmm. You know, or like, hey, you know, God's got that. Yeah, don't worry about that. So... Just I think day to day, dying to myself, less of me and more of God, mm -hmm. you know, at every moment helps me to really see like, hey, this is how you allow God to fill you with his love that he has for you outside of, you know, the love that you try to work for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's really good. Thank you for sharing that. I ask that because I just wonder, I guess what I was trying to get at is like, certain i'll tell you what i'm trying to get at but i'll tell you why i like what you said because i think it is important to understand what our sh strengths are and also what our struggles are so we can be self-aware mm -hmm. and accountable to grow i think there's a lot of it's good to be encouraging we need to be encouraging but at the same time we do need to also be aware of hey where are my struggles at what's well, really the thing that's holding me back from that you know god can you reveal that thing and once he does how does it look, look like to take steps towards you know healing in that area so for you if it's being surrendering to god in the daily moment of having a thought you know it may even be like when the scripture says like you know you um bring all the thoughts under subjection to the authority of christ so if a thought comes in you know hey do i even need to entertain that thought you know in counseling we call it like thought stopping like you don't just let your mind go run rampant on every single thing that passes through but it's like oh hold on 
do I need to be thinking about this, you yeah. know? And, the, and if not, you can surrender it to God and like, hey, I'm making this to you. Give me something else to think on. I mean, think of things that are praiseworthy and honorable yeah. and good. And so I really appreciate you for sharing that. And I know that's something you're growing through. And mm -hmm. You are going through it. You're doing a great job. Yeah, it's a constant growth. But I think one of the anchor verses that's really been helping me is um, being transformed by the renewing of your mind. Um, and I say that because each and every moment, each and every day, mm -hmm. Like I said, you know, there are certain methods and ways I, I think and navigate, you know, based off of life experiences. Mm -hmm. But learning truly each and every day how to renew my mind and focus on the thing of, things of God. Mm -hmm. So in certain moments, you know, I'm being rebuilt and, you know, understanding like, hey, where's that thought process coming from? Mm -hmm. It helps me to like, you know, process things different mm -hmm. and quickly be able to turn to God. That's good. Last question, because we're almost out of time, because I have a meeting. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, um, and this is a quick one, so, because we got like to minutes. Um, if you could take every lesson that God has taught you this year that you can remember from January up until, because we're in, no, November, almost December. We're in November now, so if you could take every lesson that God has given you from January until now, that you can recall, mm -hmm. and sum it up in one word, or one like phrase, small phrase, mm -hmm. what would it be? Being uncomfortable is an opportunity for God to show himself in your seasons in life of growth and what I mean by that is basically what I've been speaking about uh, being able to dive yourself and put him where he's supposed to be and that's at the throne of your heart so that you can so it's for being uncomfortable it's an opportunity for God to show himself in seasons of life of growth. Yeah, in life of growth, yeah, I think. Okay, that's good, yeah, that's what to make sure. Okay, yeah. being uncomfortable allows um, experience God. I'm trying to see how I want to word that. Yeah. I mean... Can you sum it up into one word? Patience. Patience, okay, that's good, yeah. that's good. My one word would be patience, for patience. sure. Like be patient with yourself. Mm -hmm. Be patient with and understanding that God's timing is not your timing. Mm -hmm. You know, just be patient, you know, with the things that you're learning to grow through. Mm -hmm. Be patient with others. Be patient with others. Be patient with yourself. Yeah. That's, what That's I all the questions I got today. Thank you for joining <laughs> my um, talk show. That was okay. that was some great questions, babe. I didn't even know, guys. But yes, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, share with your friends, share family. Your friends. If um, anything that was said kind of made you guys think of something else that you want to add, you know, a comment on or have a question about, drop it below as well so we can have a dialogue. That's always what this is really for. It's not just for us to toss words at you, but we really want to dialogue about some of these topics and talk about some of these things. Yes. So. And take some of these things as you get ready for Christmas. Yes, and the all the holiday parties that you'll be going to mm -hmm. and all this stuff, intentional. How can you connect? How can we connect yeah. this this season and going into the new year be more intentional with connecting? Yes. All right. We love you guys. Thank y'all for See tuning you in. Next episode. Bye. Peace.